All right, hey everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. Let me set up my video really quickly here on my computer. There we are. So say hello as you guys are coming in. I need to mute it on here. All right, now today I am going to be discussing the shocking outcome, actually, of the two resins together. So let me make sure everything is... All right, Libby, what is going on? Sorry, getting everything ready. I'm not used to using the back of my camera, so I'm not sure if everything's like in focus and whatnot. But really what I wanted you guys to like kind of understand a little bit more on the entire process of the Mastercast. So when I was working with the Mastercast, I actually, for some reason, it completely phased me when they emailed me and said it had a shorter working time. I was not thinking that it was like a 10 to 12 minute working time, which is what the pamphlet said. I totally should have read the pamphlet, but I didn't. So it is meant to have that quicker working time, which is amazing. Doing it side by side with our resin, obviously that's gonna make a huge difference for some of you guys though, if you're not a little bit more versed with the resin. So I just wanna keep that, have you guys keep that in mind. Let me move my camera up a little bit more too. Okay, so my head's not cut off. No. The other thing is because of that, one really big, like standout feature to me that really surprised me was adding the texture at the end. Normally, when you add the texture at the end of working with art resin, it kind of spreads the resin out. And that's just kind of one of those things that you, if you're not sure where you want to put your texture, then you have to kind of deal with that. But with Mastercast, it did not spread the resin out. So I'll show you guys that. Oh my God, Heidi, Linda, Kendra, Sandry, Sandy. I don't know why I said I like mix up Sandy and Marcy at the same time. So Marcy, what is going on everyone? Um, yeah, so it was a very, very shocking difference. And I kind of wanted to show it to you guys before I poured any resin on top of it. So that way you can see for yourself what it looks like. So this is the art resin side. I kind of poured some accidentally blue glitter on there too. Um, but I want you to notice something, okay? So this is especially for those beginners who have not worked with resins. Those that have the extended working time, this is what's gonna happen. So if you notice, I tried to cover up some of the color that had expanded because of adding this texture. And then over here, none of it had expanded. So you see you actually get the full lines with the Mastercast, whereas the Art Resin, when you're adding that texture at the end, it is going to spread some stuff out some more. So same thing with here. If you look down into the blue, it's probably hard for you guys to see, so that's why I'm trying to like explain it as best as possible. But for me, I can actually see how the blue was pushed back because of the Art Resin, and so it does leave a very very obvious line and then with Mastercast it did a little bit but I think that was more so because of the glitter not necessarily because of the stones and so it actually held up better between the two so Joe Fish what is going on LOZ hey y'all how are you guys doing tonight I hope you guys are doing fantastic I'm working with geodes and talking to you guys so I'm doing absolutely fantastic um, but yeah, so let me know what you guys are thinking. I know some of you guys follow my Instagram too, so you've actually seen the difference. Um, this is going to look so completely different once I put the flood coat of resin on top. And then I was scratching it on purpose, trying to see what would happen with the Mastercast. I am digging my nail into it and I can barely see anything. With Art Resin, I know that's something that takes a little bit longer to cure, I guess. Um, and I can see a little bit more obviously, so I think that makes kind of a big difference too. Um, what were the other notes I had? Uh, so it cures fast, which is great for those who are doing the freeform geodes, um, or like tables or anything that you need to set really fast. And, oh yeah, so I think that it's heavier. Um, I'm not quite sure on how all of that stuff works, but I do believe that it is heavier which allows the film from like your pigments to stand on top. So that's actually why I feel like we got more of an effect with the white. And I know it's so hard to see. So I'll try to post some pictures on Instagram, but let me just try to like move it under the light to see if that works. 
So if you guys can notice the big difference here, the art resin didn't really do that. And then it did move because of the tape. Like it, it just did not end up looking as good on the white, which was kind of shocking to me. And then the other thing is, um, no, that was it. Okay. So now the only thing that I actually feel like the master cast did not beat out the art resin was the price. Um, I did do a conversion difference because I'm in America and so the pounds for me was not not working and so I'm gonna keep talking as I mix up my new resin for the next coat here though and um, the price difference is pretty big so the art resin is already pretty pricey for some people the master cast is pricier oh, I did not get that on straight whatsoever <laughs> Um, I spelled out your name, Laws. I didn't know if it was like said that way or if it was like a nickname because everyone's got nicknames on here. It's so different. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Um, Marcy says, I love your kimono. Thank you. My beautiful mother gave it to me. She did not like it herself um, or just didn't fit her right or something rather. So she passed it on to me. That's one of those things where I'm never going to let it go because I love it so much. <laughs> uh, let's see. Meji, what's going on? So this is not Stone Coat Libby. I did get Stone Coat though. It came in. So I will do a Stone Coat head to head too. But this one is Mastercast. Um, and then unfortunately, I did not. They just sent a small amount, which was amazing for this project. But it didn't allow me to play around with it too much, and I can't do a second layer. So my second layer is going to have to be with art resin, which is totally fine. Um, I do have to grab my gloves really quickly, though. Um, and then Stone Coat with you guys, I am trying to get in touch with them to get them to give me a coupon code as well. Because I know some of my followers here already have a coupon code for their own channels. So I would love to have one for mine to be able to offer to you guys. Um, I think that would be fantastic. So yeah. And then with this flood coat, um, I did sand my edges because when you tape it off and you take the tape off after it does leave a lip. So I went ahead and sanded my edges. Um, and then I'm just going to be utilizing the super pretty blue glitter from the just for you online uk.com. Let me give you guys a close up on that. If someone wants to type it out, because I know last time I had like 20 people ask me about this. <laughs> so just for you, onlineuk.com. That's not focusing. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Um, and then that is honestly one of the most beautiful glitters I've ever free had. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, now that you guys are focused a little bit more down onto the geode, you guys can actually get a really good look at what happened with the moving. So this is after I put the texture in. Look what happened here. Isn't that crazy? Let me know what you guys are thinking. Angelina, hey, what is going on? Oh, I gotta take these off, sorry. Those things will get in my resin. That was not fun. <laughs> All right, so grab your gloves. Now when you're working with the second layer, uh, I'm just gonna keep it pretty simple. I do have my gloves. I'm gonna try something that's a little different. So we're gonna see what happens when we apply the glitter in the line, but we're gonna kind of spread it out and give it a really like not so linear look. So more of an organic look. And I'm really excited for that. So let's see what happens. And let me mix up my resin. Let's see here. Let's no coat. No. Okay. Ooh. And oh yeah, I might not be doing another live till next week. Uh, just because I'm going to Florida for a couple days to see my hubby off. So, so much fun. It's going to be great going to Florida, but it's bittersweet having to say goodbye, of course. All right, there we go. And let me know if you guys have questions about the process too, uh, between the two, because they're pretty similar. Just know that that master cast is a shorter working time. So definitely... Uh, look out for that. Um, Joe Fish, Florida. I'm going to Tampa. I don't know anything about Tampa or Florida area, so I don't know how close that is to however you say the town. Um, let me 
Let me see. Let me see if I could take a stab at this. Is it Okeechobee? Did I say that right? I hope so. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm not sure how far away that is, but Tampa. And it's good to know that I'm in the UK and so Stone Coat is high on posted charges and art resin is way too expensive. Well, um, Lowe's, uh, Laws, how would I say that? Can you like try to phonetically spell that out if you wouldn't mind? So the UK one is Mastercast, by the way. So you wouldn't have to pay shipping on theirs. You might want to actually look into Mastercast definitely then. Just know that they have a shorter working time. And as long as you're okay with that, then you're good. And I'm going to put out a video soon too that shows you guys how to extend the working time of resin because that actually has been a really frequent question that I've been getting in private messages. And so um, I want to kind of help you guys with that. And then also something that I'm going to keep mentioning in like all my videos now is make sure you guys are agitating your resins. If you're not agitating your resins, then they are going to get... Um, like gooey and gross. Okay, three hours from you. <laughs> oh, and I got it right. Awesome. Like you would say, lozenges. Oh, <laughs> loz. Okay, I will never forget that now. <laughs> uh, perfect. All right, so let me just mix up this resin. And then, have any of you guys tried out the Just For You Online UK glitters yet? Have you gotten the opportunity? I'm freaking loving them. They uh, have posted my Colorberry and Eyes collaboration geode that I paint, painted or resined or whatever you want to say. Um, they've posted that a couple times because of the glitter. It's just so freaking beautiful. I love it. Um, Kendra says, oh, I love the texture you created on the corners. How did you do that again? I can always watch again. No worries, Kendra. I don't mind saying it again. Um, so all I did was cut off a piece of this black tablecloth that I just got at the dollar store. And I put it right on top. And then as it's curing, you want to go ahead and squish it together um, and then this one cured super fast so I didn't have to keep squishing it. Art resin, I had to stay up later because it has an extended working time. I had to stay up later uh, before I could go to bed because I had to keep squishing it because it kept flattening out a little bit. So you really want to make sure that you're doing that once it's like getting closer to the end of its working time. Um, let's see. Thanks. And then I gotta get some better stones for my geodes. Yeah, Libby, I use the crushed marble still. Um, or you can get the vase filler. I have a few listed on my Amazon shop now, which is down in the uh, description. Uh, get some fire glass. Yep, fire glass is another thing. I haven't tried it yet, but um, I would like to. Definitely something. I want one of those fire pits anyways. Those things are so freaking cool. Like watching the fire come out of the glass just because of the propane. Like, I just think that's so neat, and it's a little bit um, safer, <laughs> it seems, than the sometimes uncontrollable fire pits. So, yeah. Oh my goodness. It's been a while since I've had to mix with a small popsicle stick. It's a lot harder on the wrist. <laughs> um, and then also, oh yeah, other textures that I get um, are glass glitter. Um, that one... I got these little tiny ones, which sucks, but the bigger ones that I get are from Michael's, and they're called Glass Glitter from uh, Recollections. And then, oh, Joe Fish says, I ordered fire glass today on Home Depot. Uh, they have a bunch of colors and sizes. Okay, awesome. I wonder if Lowe's has them too then, because I can get the military discount with Lowe's, which is nice. All right, this is getting pretty close. Again, when you're mixing, make sure you don't have any cloudy um, streaks. That definitely shows you that it's not done. So this is pretty close to being done. And you can see I've been scraping the sides, then the bottoms. Super repetitive, I know. All right. Now, I also got these little silicone cups. I guess I didn't clean them out very well, so I used this one. But um, yeah, they're nice because you can just pop them the other way and clean them but you can reuse them so I haven't been going through as many of my plastic cups which has been amazing because I'm trying to reduce my plastic waste anyways um, y'all know I love four oceans specifically because they get rid of plastic in the oceans so there we go got some hair in there that's always not attractive in resin 
Okay, so the glitter, I'm just gonna take a little bit here. <laughs> when I say a little bit, I do mean a lot. <laughs> Lowe's has it too. Okay, cool. Um, when I put glitter in, I am a lot like Mrs. Colorberry in that. I just kind of throw it on in there and I do put a lot in there. Um, with glitter, you don't really have to worry as much. Look at that, look how friggin' beautiful that is. But you don't have to worry about like the resin reacting to it like it would the uh, acrylic or the pigment powder. Okay, now here's what I'm gonna do. I don't have it taped off today, so I'm just gonna go pretty fast. Okay, and then what I wanted to do is take this popsicle stick and just sort of spread it out a bit because I'm gonna do some more uh, resin over top of this too with some lines, so it's gonna be kind of like a, a major cool geode, and this will be neat with all of this underneath of it. So. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna be super cool. Now this is kind of hard because of the separation, but we'll just sort of throw some glitter there. Um, I got this craft board at Walmart and it was like five bucks. So I love it. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> My computer's yelling at me. Here, let me turn the volume off of that. There we go. All right. Ooh, yeah, this is going to be so cool. I'm excited for this. And then the rest of this I'm leaving alone for now I'm just going to be using the resin and spreading the resin out over top of this and then I want you to notice something when the tablecloth came off it completely dulled my blue because that it was a matte tablecloth but the resin brings all of that right back out so do not worry if you guys don't have a shiny tablecloth it is not necessary you guys are still gonna have a fantastic piece so I'm just spreading this along here actually I'm gonna add some more um I kind of want to add some more blue because this one just really got sucked away from the I don't think I had enough there we go oh but this is so cool you can still see all that texture and it brings it all right back nice and shiny get rid of them air bubbles though and then I do push the resin all the way up on top of my marbles to help seal it in there and not have any issues with marbles cracking off and running away. But yeah, if you guys are okay with geodes being multiple day processes, then you're going to have some pretty cool geodes. All right. Air bubble there. Yeah, that one's so white now. <laughs> That's interesting. Um... Libby, I honestly don't really have a specific number of layers. I mostly just did one for the longest time, and then now I feel like I'm spreading to two, three, four even if I feel like it needs it. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to give myself or you guys a specific number to deal with just because it's whatever you are feeling and whatever works for you. Um, if you're not feeling it at one layer, add more or cover it completely. I mean, I've done that too. I've completely covered a geode uh, because I didn't like it. So I just, I, I can't give you a number. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this one specifically though this is on my second layer. So, um, let's see. They don't carry something in the store. Uh, yeah, pretty glitter gelfish. They're my favorite. Seriously. They're so amazing. Um, so loving the colors, texture, and composition. Sparkles! <laughs> Thanks, Kendra. I appreciate it. Uh, Libby, do I break the marbles? Yep. And I have a video on it, too, because uh, breaking marbles is not easy. Um, so if you cook them more than once, I found out. So I'm going to put that in there because my video doesn't say that because I only did it once in the video. But if you cook them, boil them, 
get them super freaking hot so you're boiling them for like 15 minutes um, and then you go and add um, or get like a bucket of ice water ready and then when you come back to once it's done boiling you just dump them in that bucket of ice water and then um, you do it again you just do it a couple times keep coming back to that bucket of ice water and I'd say do it three times that's how many I did it the other day to break these ones and I still had a huge baggie of ones that did not break so <laughs> yeah it's kind of one of those obnoxious bites there we go Ooh, I'm covered in resin now Man, this blue is so friggin' pretty. It stands out so much. It's gorgeous. Okay. Uh, let's see. Tracy! Hello, hello! What is up? Jopa says, that tip from Mrs. Colorberry at putting in a lot of glitter that is better <laughs> goes with the saying, more is better. Yeah, for sure. And it does help to keep the line. Keeps it a lot thicker. Um, but with this, I didn't want it to keep a line, so that's kind of why I did it a little crazy. But she really does make it super thick. So don't be afraid of the glitter at all. That's nothing to be afraid of. Okay. You know what? Maybe I should add, now that these are on here, I'm thinking I should add some more color on top of this to make these spread more but I think it'll be good I don't know you know if I mess with it probably gonna hate it okay yeah that's pretty simple um I did that with some of those glass pieces for flower arrangements oh yeah 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 I did that with some of the other ones too some of them are just super easy to break but marbles are not one of those things unfortunately um man this is really bugging me I might I might re-pour the blue, but then I like this blue. I don't know. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to leave it, you guys. I think I'm just going to let this like be, let this fully um, cure. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to do a flood coat on top of this. Now, this is why, and I'm going to walk you through. Sometimes you can just jump in and do lines, even right now, if you know that you want to do your line tear. That's totally fine. But I'm going to do a flood coat over top because I want the depth of this look. I want it to look like you're seeing down into the geode. And so this one, I am gonna do a flood coat over top, let it cure, and then I am gonna add some lines. Maybe, we'll see. I'm gonna do a line video though to show you guys whether or not it's even worth it to do the lines. Um, and I think that'll be a very valuable video for you guys to see. I'm gonna try to get some of this blue glitter away a little bit too. I don't want that line. Okay, um, is that glitter only in that mix then? Tula, I'm not sure what you mean. Like, is the Just For You Online UK glitter just in this? Just right here? That's the only place that I have it. I don't, I don't have it anywhere else. So I'm not quite sure what you mean. Um, I just mix it with resin, mix a bunch of glitter, and then pour it. And then I have extra resin, so I can jump into making some coasters. But... This out here, I have resin out here, but I just didn't do anything with it, which I'm kind of thinking I probably should. I don't know. Let's just sort of, there we go. Maybe lace some glitter throughout these lines. That'll give it a cool, cool look. That's interesting. I don't know. Might add some more blue. Yeah, probably gonna add some more blue out here because I don't know if I like that. That's balls. <laughs> All right, um, is it just glitter or did you add pigment? Oh, Tula, no, I didn't add any pigment to this one. Um, and you'll notice too, and that's why I want that depth, you'll notice when this flood coat is on top, and I'll take pictures and put it on my Instagram, um, you'll notice that it's, you can see the white through it. It's not, uh, it's definitely, definitely not with pigment. It's just a really gorgeous glitter, and it does really well. But with glitter, you can put as much as you want, and you don't have to worry about it. 
Yeah, I'm just softening up the transition that the resin is making now because I don't want a thick line. There we go. Yeah, I think that's neat, you guys. I think I'm going to keep it like this. But the reason I'm telling you guys about the flood coat is because I'm not going to do um, another live video just to do a flood coat. Um, flood coat means I'm just going to pour clear resin over top of the whole thing and let it do its thing. Um, I'm going to add some more blue pigment out here though, or, ooh, I might do more texture. I don't know. Something out here is bothering me. It's too much blue. <laughs> um, have you ever tried to do any encaustic art? Ah, uh, Libby, I'm not sure what that is. I'll look it up and see, and then I'll answer you next time. <laughs> Uh, the off-kilter line actually makes it more natural, I think. Yeah, I think so too because, I mean, it's not perfect, you know? And I like the whole organic feel to it instead of uh, the forced beauty, which is gorgeous too. It's just, yeah, I'm organic. I'm crazy. My lines are never straight. <laughs> um, I have a poor painting I want to embellish with stones and crystals. Should I attach them first or can I pour resin onto them and they will stay in place? Um... Christina, that's a tough one. Are you going to like glue them down with anything at first? If you're gluing them down with something, then you'll be okay. Um, but if you're not gluing them down with anything, then the stones will very likely move. Um, but if you use something like E6000 is the spray glue that I use. Um, E6000 is, it clears, uh, Dry. It uh, dries clear. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm mixing up my words. It dries clear, and so you don't have to worry about it showing through the resin. That's actually what I use on my animal paintings. Um, so if you're using that to attach some stones and then resin on top of that, yeah, you'll be just fine. But if you're just setting the stones down and pouring the resin over top of it, it's going to move them. Absolutely. Um, I really need geode instruction. I've been working on a freeform one and the colors aren't staying separate. They just blend. Um, Tracy, what resin are you using? Um, and are you doing multiple layers or are you trying to get them to be linear like this? Gotta, there's like so much more to that. Message me actually, cause this one's almost done now. Um, so message me, this was a super short video <laughs> and, um, just wanted to show you guys how everything just keeps adding up. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm going to do something right here while you guys are asking questions because it definitely, this one looks cool, but this one's just too much white. So I'm going to add some more blue really quickly. Oh, I'll show you guys some more cool gems I got. How about that? Let's see if the gems look good out here. Add some more texture. So I have a bucket that I kind of organized all my gems. So you can see all this different stuff that I have. <laughs> um, so I just find them everywhere. And some of my favorite places that I found are actually in jewelry spots. It seems to be some of the best places. But look at this. Ooh, this is actually gonna be cool. Adding these in here. Oh yeah, that's neat. I like it. Randomness. Yeah, I don't really follow any rules when I do mine. <laughs> uh, let's see. I love E6002. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I absolutely adore it. It's just neat. It kind of adds a little something, something. Oop, bouncing around. I don't know where that one went. Um, love to see the gems. Yay! But I've actually laid crystals on top of resin that was curing. Oh yeah, Libby, that's fine. That's what I did here with these. Um, let's see. Stone Coat has a quick coat that I'm going to use for my freeform geo. It has a 15 minute working time so you can only pour one color at a time. Uh, that's the same thing with the master cast. The master cast is supposed to be 10 to 15 minutes and so I think that's why it created much better lines. Um, so you can always give that one a try too. I did not get the quick one from the Stone Coat. I got just the normal one. Um, so I'm going to give that a try though and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. I'll do a video, of course, just like I always do. I think it's great seeing them head to head. I think it makes a huge difference. There we go. 
All right. Yeah, that looks pretty freaking cool. I like that now. Now I'm really liking this. Okay, let's see here. So cool. I got lucky in one. Oh, yay! That's freaking awesome. All right, so, yeah. And then I also have Ultracast that I'm going to be trying. I already tried Chromarine. Anyone want to buy my old Chromarine that I don't want? <laughs> Um, I don't really want to use it unless I have something that doesn't have white, but I use so much white. So, um, I might try to make something purposely that doesn't have the white in it. Here, I'll come back to my face. See if that's too high. I don't know. Um, but I do like it. It's just with, yeah, it's smelly and I personally just enjoy being able to work inside my house. Um, I have a garage for it and everything, but it gets really hot out there and sticky because I'm humid area, so I don't know. Um, not a fan of it. Let's see. Put down a small puddle of clear resin and laid stones and crystals. Oh no, that was the one already. And then haven't had any problems with them moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heidi, that's exactly what I did. Um, Woohoo! Well done! James says, hey! What's up, baby? Um, everyone got the down low on foam marine and the yellowing. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Uh, Libby says I never win anything. Well, Libby, I'm going to do some more um, competitions coming up here. I actually want to get into doing some one-on-one -on -one instructions, and I did do one, um, and Serena created a really beautiful geode, and she showed me the one that she made first, and she was like, I'm really glad that we did this because this is where I had started, and it made me feel really good to know that I had helped someone in such a way that they were really confident about their art moving forward. So I really want to get into more of that. Um, so I'm going to offer that as like a prize, but also as uh, something that people can purchase if they like my time to get some more one-on-one, -on -one, like just do a Zoom chat or something like that to where um, I can walk you through making your own geo just like I did with her. So um, let's see. James says, hi. And Libby says, and what a pretty face. You're so sweet. I actually did my makeup today, so I guess the compliment is well deserved on my on my part. <laughs> Put in some extra effort there. Um, and then I got these super cool earrings that my husband bought me. Yeah, Macy's, but it already fell off too, so I had to put a different backing on it. But yeah, that's about it, you guys. I feel like I'm just rambling now. Um, just wanted to show you guys what happens when you're doing a second layer. Uh, why I'm not covering the entire thing and then why I will cover the entire thing for the third layer um, to create the depth and then I'll add lines so if I decide to add lines on this one I will do a video on that for you guys um, I did try the editing method that a couple of people were saying personally for me I do not like it because I feel like I can't control the width of the lines very well and maybe it's just the app that I was using um, but it wasn't working for me I didn't like it I felt like every time I touched it the line was off and it just didn't look right so I am going to show you guys the color berry method that we were taught during the collaboration where she takes a picture of it prints it out and then draws on the lines and so she was saying that's her favorite method and so I'm definitely going to give it a try and see if it works and then obviously I'll show you guys and let you know if it works um, and then hopefully if it does that's something that you guys can have in your pocketbook too um Joker says that's awesome Kendra says sounds great Carolyn says hi I've been following you first live chat yay Carolyn and the three over <laughs> where you can chit chat um, and then is that a green geo behind you yep Libby this one's one of my favorites too this is the kiss of the Irish that I made um, I have this video I have it this way this is the way it's meant to go. I have um, a video on how I made this one too. Isn't that cool? I love it. And I added all of it in one layer. There was no second layer to this one. Um, which I'm thinking I probably should add a second layer just because a couple people have touched the broken marbles and got cut. Uh, but, I mean, that's what you get for touching art. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry. I'm saying um so many times now. That one is one of my favorites. I did it because of the pink one that I really loved and everyone else really loved. Um, it was kind of unnatural colors, but it turned out really cool, the pink lady. And then one I also have up on a video. But when the glitter flowed over the edge, it was just gorgeous. And this one kind of did it, just not as much. 
Um, so it just kind of enhanced the natural wood by giving it a really shiny, glittery, glittery appearance, and I loved it. But you guys can see, I do wrap everything around, and then I clean it, and then put some hanging hardware on it. So, yeah, and it's for sale. So if you guys want this one, um, it's on my website, abstractwells.com. Uh, let's see. That's really pretty. Get the thumbs up, peeps. Thank you, Laws. I appreciate that. Um, doing a print first is a great idea. Yeah, exactly. I think that is... Oh, you didn't on your mermaid geode? Oh, no. I'm going to do a mermaid geode soon. I still haven't yet. I know I've been promising it for a while. Um, really pretty. Put, put corn some white. Not sure what that means, Carolyn. <laughs> um, hey, you could use the extra resin to cover the green piece. <gasps> Catherine, you're so right. I could. I don't know why I didn't think of that. It's, that's why I do these live, because you guys save me from having horrible pieces that cut people. <laughs> that's a really good idea. Though. I'm going to move stuff around and throw that resin over top. So you guys can see how that would work, too. Um, let's see here. My cups. There we go. Sorry, disappeared on you. Just grabbing some cups to put down. Some people were asking how that works too. Um, I just raise it up by cups, just like this. Oops. Nothing special. Uh, that'll help the resin to drip over the edges. And then I have my tablecloth down, which the resin does peel off of the tablecloth, but I'm gonna move it over some more just in case. I don't want it to go onto the table, <laughs> even though this table's kind of turned into my craft table because I've gotten resin and a bunch of stuff all over the place. And then the biggest area that I want to focus on whenever I'm pouring over something like this is the texture. So you don't exactly have to pour an entire flood coat, although I should have enough. If you are worried about the texture and you just want to seal it in a little bit, you can actually take a popsicle stick or you can take a paintbrush and you can kind of paint that texture on and that would work as well. Um, so I don't think I have a paintbrush up here. Nope, no paintbrush. But you do want your blowtorch to go. Get all those bubbles out. There we go. So you can just kind of focus with that popsicle stick just like this and allow it to go right on top of your texture. But like I said, I should have enough, so I'm gonna kind of pour sort of quick. Oh yeah, plenty. There we go. Okay, and then I always use my gloves to spread around. This is something I just did myself, um, but apparently it sounds like other people like to do it as well. It's an effective method to make sure that the resin covers everywhere um, and then blow torch it. And then you could also use a headlamp to look at an angle to make sure that you got everything. And this will add more depth to it too, the second layer, so that'll be nice. Now it's not going to be the death geode. I don't know, kind of a bittersweet goodbye. <laughs> Just kidding. Really glad no one's going to get cut on this. Okay. There we go. And then I'll cover it up with my resin table. Should be good. pour on my kitchen table too. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yes, girl. Yes, Jen. Yes. <laughs> great idea, Catherine. Yep. Everyone's agreeing with you, Catherine. It was great. Heidi says, I have to run. Your G is gorgeous though. Thanks, Heidi. I appreciate you. Um, I pour on my kitchen table too. I want a she shed. Ooh, she shed. I mean, my garage is kind of my she shed, but I don't get Wi-Fi out there. <laughs> Uh, first love chat. I want a she house. 
Oh, laws. That's what I need. That is amazing. That's a great idea. Although mine is kind of turning into that. I am in the kitchen or the dining room table. I have the garage. I just need to keep, you know, moving over. <laughs> um, she sheds are popular now. So true. The answer to the man cave. My husband has a man cave, so that's why the garage is mine. <laughs> I'm going to have to do a GoFundMe before I get one. Ha, <laughs> yeah, right? I know, but they're supposed to be pretty good to, if you build them yourself, pretty cheap. Um, I made my third tiny bedroom into my studio. Oh, Joe Crush, that works perfect. All right, so let me get down in here. Make sure I got all this. I don't want to leave any spots on this one, because this one was absolutely perfect. Ooh, nope, I see a spot. Okay. No, nope, don't want to use that. Let's get a new one. Okay, now sometimes when you're pouring just a flood coat, if you don't have enough over the top, then you can um, run into the issue of creating pits just because you don't have enough. So sometimes people are like, oh, there's no silicone. Well, it doesn't always have to be silicone. Um, so just make sure that you're paying attention to that. And that should be, should be good. I think it looks good. I don't think I have any spaces there. Watch me jinx myself, though. Okay, there we go. All right, you guys. You helped me to use the rest of my resin to finish a gorgeous green geode. And then this one, like I said, flood coat. And then if I add lines, I'll do a video on it. Um, I think that's it. Let me know if you guys have any more questions before I sign out here. My spare room is called the Art Cave. <laughs> Tula put a sign up, Art Cave. It's cat free, no cats allowed. <laughs> yep, we'll see, and unfortunately this is kind of a cat zone, but they don't like to come in here, except for that bird that got in my house. That was not fun. Um, me and my house is into our room, but I have it packed already. Aw, that sucks. Gotta get some of that stuff out, do some art. Smart idea, have a great night. Beautiful, fab, good night. You guys are amazing. I really appreciate you guys coming in and watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you guys have not already. I appreciate you so much. Um, let me know if you have any questions about the whole process. Uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> All right, everyone, have a great night. Let me figure this thing out. Oh, say bye to hubby. <laughs> Laws, you're so right.